Okay, me meeting um, Tim Burton for the first time was on the Batman film, first Batman, um, and that was shot at Pyramus Studios. And again, it was a chance idea, um, although I'd built up by then you know, a certain amount of reputation, somebody said to me, oh, well, you, you, you have got a shot at this, go and meet Tim. So I went straight up and met Tim. Um, and he wasn't really giving away too much about what he wanted. So I kind of left a bit, mm, okay. Nothing was shot, so it was while they were still building the set. I left him after, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes, very short meeting, and I simply walked around to where um, the set was being built. And I just thought, there's gotta be some kind of answer maybe in the set. And I looked at how Gotham City was being put together in that very Gothic style and then simply got in my car, drove back into London, and I had the idea within about 20 minutes, and I just thought, I know what it is. It's, it's the graphic cartoon known trademark turned into a landscape, three-dimensional space. Because the shapes of Gotham City and the set were all sharp-edged, and it's just seeing the sharp edges just got me straight to the classic comic Batman logo. So it literally came in a flash. And with that, <clears throat> I, all I did is I simply drew out probably about eight frames, that's all. Pencil frames, one mood board. The two days later, I took it straight back to Tim. He said yes straight away. So it can happen like that without really analyzing the thing too deeply. Yeah, kind of, yeah, it's just, it was just this whole thing of getting to Gotham City, but just getting there through the brand, really. And, I mean, you know, in some ways, it's, it's very kind of retro now when you look at it. Um, but the, the core idea, you know, it still holds true. This idea of um, discovering a landscape, discovering a mark. Um, you know, back in the day when that, that was done, it had never been... And also the fact that I linked the Warner Brothers logo um, to, the, to the model was I think probably about the first time that was ever done. See all the time now, I did it once again, I think on Event Horizon, I did a similar idea where I linked the Paramount logo to the, for, you know, to the, to my sequence. Um, and you know, again, this is, you know, when you look at this now, I mean, that's analog, remember? You know, this is stop frame animation. This is staying up all night with car filler, rubbing down the sides of the model two models, 15 foot and eight foot models. Um, everybody from Warner Brothers really paranoid about what I was doing. So there's quite a lot of pressure there because it's the first time of a, of a big blockbuster coming out. You know, you have to kind of understand the, what was going down at the time as much as anything else. And I remember when I shot this, Tim said, well, as soon as you finish, they're gonna come, security people are gonna come and whip that model away. You know, nobody is to see anything of what you've done. So it was all a little bit MI5, you know, CIA going on, um, with the pressure of having to do this thing and would it work? Um, it took me, I think, four or five days with the model makers to shoot it. Um, and again, it was, uh, which you may, may or might know, it was, there was also a 70 mil print made. So the detail, you can imagine the actual detail that I had to get on that thing. Um, but car filler seemed to work really well. How big was that model? Uh, two, there's two sections there. There's a 15 foot and about eight foot. So the whole logo, where you see the where you saw that mix, that's the obviously the smaller one. And then I'm shooting channels in these big 15 foot sections. Because, you know, it's all about scale. Um, obviously today you wouldn't make it like that. That'd all be made in CGI now.